So this question is a diagram question. In fact, more specifically, it is a graph question. I love to pay attention to any points that are provided, right? So even this one that's not listed, it goes through the origin though. So I know, I know we have the point zero comma zero and we have the point three comma six, which means we'd have a slope of M is equal to two again, because slope is equal to Y two minus Y one over X two minus X one, which for us would be six minus zero over three minus zero, which is equal to six over three which is equal to two over one, which can just be written as be written as two. Okay. So the question says in the X, Y plane above a point not shown with coordinates S T lies on the graph of the linear function F. Okay. So there's some point that we don't see that has S comma T. Well, now I'm just write that down S comma T. Now let's not forget that S comma T is the same as X comma Y, right? It's the S is the X portion and the T is the y portion of that ordered pair. So if s and t are positive integers, so that's here in the first quadrant, what is the ratio of t to s? So t over s. Again, on this test, we're going to think of ratio as fraction. Always, always. Think of it as a fraction. So t over s. So this um, this is actually very interesting because T over S, which again is the same as Y over X. Well, that's just like that. It's like the slope, right? It's like this is, I know, the difference of Y over the difference of X. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that this answer is just going to be 2 to 1 and that our answer here is choice C. So if I was, you know, short for time, I'd probably just go for that and move on. But let's just confirm, let's confirm that we're correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an equation. So I have y equals mx plus b. I know that m is 2. I'm going to replace my y with 6 and my x with 3. And then, of course, I have my b is 0. And that tells me that, so that tells me that b is equal to 0. Right? I could have left that as b and then just calculated Right, so minus six, minus six, that tells me that b is equal to zero, which means that my equation is equal to y equals two x. Now, if y equals two x, and we know that we're dealing with points only in the first quadrant, well, what happens when x is equal to one? Well, when x equals one, y equals two, and yeah, t over s would equal two over one. Again, because t is the same as y, and s is the same as x. But what happens if we move along that line a little further and say, well, what happens when x is 2? Well, when x is 2, y is 4, right? So again, our t over s equals 2 over 1, right? Which via 4 over 2, right? t over s is 4 over 2, which reduces to 2 over 1. And then more generally, I can just take the equation and say, well, if I have y equals 2x, I can just divide both sides by x, and there it is, right? The ratio of y to x is equal to 2. Of course, I can say 2 over 1. So I'm pretty convinced now choice C is the correct answer. And again, we could have got there much faster than I did in this video, um, just based upon the understanding that the ratio of y to x is the same as the slope.